how to use a drill press. In this video we are going to cover some of the basics like the proper PPE, how to turn a drill press on, how to change the speed, how to lower the table, how to raise the table, how to tilt the table, those types of things. Enjoy! Let's get started right now. Personal protective equipment. The minimum is eyeglasses and work boots, but you may also need hearing protection and never ever wear gloves while operating a drill press. We want to turn our drill on. Don't worry about the speeds it feeds right now, we just want to know how to turn the machine on. Okay, let's start with the light. If we have power connected, our light will turn on and off here. We can also turn around, hit the e-stop, release the e-stop, press the power button, and that supplies power to the machine. If this machine was turned off in the on position, and I turn the power on, hit this, the spindle will turn on automatically. So always make sure that you have this in the off position before you start before you turn the power onto the machine. Okay, now I've just finished my drilling operation that I want to do. So what I'm going to do is make sure the machine is off. Well, obviously it's not spinning. I want to hit the e-stop and I want to unplug the machine. Unscrew. Do not leave the key in the chuck. That's as dangerous as having the chuck key in a lathe. Pull it out. I have loosened the motor and pulled it forward so that this pulley's loose now. See that? So now I want to pick what RPM here I want to set the belt to. So let's say I want to spin it relatively slow. What's the slowest I can spin it? We're going to say 300 RPM, which is right there. So basically I want the back cone or the back pulley to be on the top and the front pulley to be on the bottom. We're currently at 650 RPM. So if we wanted to go to 300 from there, loosen this off, pull this guy forward, we don't have to take this belt off because we're moving downward. Move this guy downward on one, then it falls down. Line it up, we're on. Pull the pulley back, pull the motor back, lock the motor down, and that, we're back at 300. That is how you change the RPM. To close the lid, you just pull down on this one, and she's closed. Okay, let's say we want to set a depth, and we bring this down, and we'll say right around there is we're touching, we're touching off on the top of our workpiece, and we want to drill with this particular drill about an inch deep. We would loosen this micrometer collar off, move it to one inch that lines up with this line, nip it down, we don't have to over tighten this. And when I pull down here, it hits the stop and I'm at my depth. Now if I pull really hard, I can make it slip. So make sure when we're drilling that we don't overpower our stop here, okay? And that is how you set a depth stop on a drill press. Okay, so let's say I wanna raise and lower the table up and down. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the other side of the machine here. I'm going to release the lock. Okay. Now this table with the, with the lock released will swivel. It'll go this way. It'll swivel with the lock released. So I'll turn it a small amount over there. And then all I have to do is turn this handle here up or down. And that is how you raise and lower the table on, on a drill press. Okay. Say we want to tilt the table. Okay, we want to tilt the table. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the side here. We do have a reading, an axial reading. What we need to do is go underneath the table, and it's this bolt right here that you loosen and tighten to rotate the table. Okay, let's say we want to spin the table around. Okay, what we would do is come here, loosen this guy off. And that allows us to spin the table. Okay, on most drill presses, if you want to remove the chuck and put a different chuck in, or a drill in, you lower the quill down, and you put a drill drift into here, which will pop out the actual drill. In some cases, you do have to turn the spindle until all of them line up. And in this case, we're lucky it lines up perfectly. There, if you can see the top, the tang of the actual drill chuck. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Also, if you want to see some other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. Thank you for watching and have a great night.